Well, my plan today was to go fishing. Do I look like I'm fishing? And most of you guys know that I carry my fishing gear with me all the time. I've always got rods in the truck, tackle in the truck. You never know when you're going to find a fishing hole. I also had a big box in the back of my truck that happened to slide across and break a rod. They're not cheap. Well, some are cheap. These are not cheap. Trust me. Well, I had to tell Jenny that I needed to buy a new fishing rod. and She said, don't you have eight? Because no, I got ten. But the one I need got broke. Just use something else. She just don't get it. Anyway, my plan was to go fishing today. I was going to sneak out to Canadian Tire early. Grab another fishing rod. She put the brakes on me on the way out the door. Got to take the dogs for a walk. She wants to go to Tilbury Northside Park to take the dogs for a walk. Bobby Dam, I am going fishing whether you like it or not. I just ran uptown to the Canadian Tire Store and I gotta tell you a little story about that. Our local Canadian Tire Store used to be like a secondhand store. It was messy, it was, I don't say it's dirty, but it was just stuff everywhere. Then a guy named Phil came to town. Straightened out the store, made it look good, and he's a hunting and fishing guy. Right up my alley. I tell you what, he loaded that thing with hunting and fishing stuff, as well as other stuff for everybody else. We loved it. We were there all the time. In fact, I was there almost every day, whether I'm just wearing the paint off the floor down the aisles or actually buying something. However, Phil's left. Well, Phil's been gone for some time. I'm pretty sure that the person that has the store now is not into hunting and fishing. Nevertheless, I need a new fishing rod. Don't. Listen, I went and bought a new fishing rod. This gets me to the reason for the story about the Canadian Tire Store. They didn't have anything I wanted. I like Abu Garcia. They do have some, but they didn't really have a good selection. Now, if Phil was there, it would have been loaded. Had nevertheless, they're not a good selection. Some of the stuff they had there, they had some quantum and stuff like that. I don't, sh I don't shoot quantum. I don't shoot quantum. Quantum. I can't even talk. I don't use quantum. I use Abu Garcia. Nothing. Okay, I just need a rod. I got a good reel. I just need a rod. Cannot buy just a rod. Now, I know at other Canadian Tire stores, you can. This one, you can't. I wasn't about to drive all the way to Chatham, so what I did was I'm looking for something cheap. Now, my problem is, is I don't want to spend $100 on something that I don't want. I'm going to wait until I find what I want before I spend the money. But I want to go fishing today. And I'm looking for crappy. I'm looking for bluegill. She wants to know why I can't use my bait casting setup for crappy or for bluegill. I've got a Zebco legacy for 24 bucks now this thing here says the original price for this was 49 dollars on sale for 24 i just need the rod but it's silver i don't like silver i know what to do I got everything painted up, set up, hooked up. Time to go fishing? No. 
she now tells me I gotta plant some seeds. Just, you're kidding me. First, let's walk the dogs. You know I wanna go fishing today. I walk the dogs, I come home, I get my fishing rod set up, time to go catch the fish. I am not, I repeat, I am not planting seeds. It's all about compromise, guys. Compromise. I'm trying to record a video over here, do you mind? Only they do. Surely now she would let me go fishing. And for all you guys out there losing your mind, I can go fishing whenever I want. Well, I finally made it down here. Pushing eight o'clock, but we made it. Let's see if we can make something happen. We're looking for some crappy. Show you what I'm using real quick, guys. I got six pound test line, eight ounce jig, pink and yellow. Last year that was a ticket. This year, we're about to find out. Now, it's, just so you know, it's still early in the season. The ice has only been gone for about three weeks. Water's still cold, but there's some other people fishing down here and some of the other creeks there's people fishing, so we're checking. We're going to move on down the creek, closer to the Thames. We're looking for a crappy. That's not a crappy. Small bass. We're not skunked. That's all that matters. So from now, which is early April, until about June, the bass are really thick in here. Hard to see on camera, but I'm rapidly running out of daylight. Probably a few more casts, and that's going to be it. Best I can say is we're not skunked. And uh, the black is tactical. All right, guys, I think we're going to close this video out here. We had a pretty good day. We got a lot accomplished, and I got to go fishing. We're not skunked. We got one bass. Not in season. They got to go back. I can't even target bass here. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you all enjoyed it.
get out there and enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you all in the next one. Later. I was hoping for one on the last cast there. Didn't happen. See ya. Guys, marriage is all about compromise. Compromise. We compromise. We, guys, we compromise. Tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead, I'll wait.